hi guys so today we are going to talk about word to vec model which is a powerful deep learning model for converting words into vectors right so we earlier saw in the videos that there are multiple ways to convert words into vectors one was your tf idf approach one was your count vectorizer approach but this approach word to vec is a deep learning approach it learns word vectors which means uh, there is going to be a vector for every word and that vector is going to be dependent upon the context in which a word is used so for example if i want to generate a word vector for apple then apple is a fruit and you will see the ve uh, vector of fru uh, fruits and uh, the vector of apple will lie in close to the vectors of other fruits like mango guava pineapple and if i say vector of iphone will lie close to the vector of uh, words which are related to iphone let's say samsung or let's say nokia so these vectors are learned according to the context in which they appear in so what we will do we will in this video we will talk about word to vec model which is a pre-trained model by google and it contains vector representation of about 50 billion words that's a huge number and words which are similar in context they have similar vectors this is another important thing about this and if you want to find out distance between two words you can do it using cosine distance right and it has a lot of cool applications in finding out text similarity language translation suppose i have a word which is in english and i want to see the word corresponding word in chinese or in hindi so what i will do i will find out the word vectors from uh, word vector from english which which would be a number and i will see which word in chinese is also having a similar word vector right so let me just explain you very intuitively what we are going to do for a word let's say which is in english right we we, we have a word vector right let's say 1.2 3.1 and so on right so it is going to be a list of numbers right and if when we talk about word to vec model the model we are going to use it is of 300 dimension which means each word is going to be represented in 300 dimensions and suppose i want to find out the corresponding word in chinese right then i will find out which word in chinese has a very similar word vector right so you can do a mapping in in that way right so finding odd words so this is what we are going to build in this video that if you are given a list of words or mcqs in which you have four options you want to find out which is the odd word you can use this approach you you can use this technique very powerful right and the next thing is we need to learn about what is a word embedding right so word embedding you can uh, see is a numerical representation of word in the form of a vectors and word to vec model represents each word in a 300 dimensional space which means if you have uh, w number of words then each word is going to have 300 dimensions and in this model we are going to have 50 billion words which are already for which the word vectors have already been learned right so you there, there would be a matrix like this and the dimension is going to be number of words into 300 right and the size of this matrix that we are going to load is around 1.5 gb because there are around 50 billion words so what we are going to do we are going to work with gensim which is a popular nlp package and this why i'm using this package is because it provides optimum impl optimized implementation of continuous bag of words model and skip gram model right these are the corresponding papers of these models and it gives us an implementation of these papers right so uh, let me just uh, st start with the tutorial part and before that i would also tell you what we are going to build suppose we are going to have some inputs example this is a list and we want to find out which word is the odd word so clearly you can see uh, in these part is the odd word because apple mango juice orange they are quite related right juice is of fruits and apple is also a fruit mango is also fruit orange is also fruit right for you it is very easy to find out the word party is odd but for a machine to understand what is the meaning of party in which what in what context the words uh, apple mango party orange 
what, how they are related it is very difficult for the machine to understand but we will see if we use a word to vec model it it becomes very easy right so let's start with the tutorial right okay let me just delete this so first task is to import gensim right and then we will uh, load the pre-trained model okay let me show you so okay so you can see uh, this is the model which i have already downloaded from the internet and it is of around 3.64 gb right so the compressed version was around 1.5 gb after uncompressing it is 3.64 gb right okay so next task is to load this model and i also need to import few more things from gensim dot models i'm going to import word to vec and from gensim dot models i'm going to import keyed vectors right so we will try to understand what these things are from sklearn dot metrics dot pairwise import cosine similarity okay so we uh, what now we are going to do first of all we are going to construct the matrix right so let us say word vectors equals to keyed vectors dot load word to vec format and here we give the file which contains our information right so this is the file i downloaded from the internet and one more parameter binary equal to true okay so you can go to the documentation and have a look what these functions are so the first function i have used here is keyed vectors dot load word to vec format right so what what is keyed vectors so it is an object which contains a mapping between words and embeddings right so let me just define what are keyed vectors right so it it is an object right first of all it is an object which defines the mapping between words and their embeddings right so you can treat it like a matrix we we have already i already sh 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 showed you right so after training it, it can be directly used to query those embeddings in various ways so if i have a matrix like this the ith row represents the vector for the ith word let's say there is a word apple in the ith row so it represents a list of numbers which are associated with that apple so it is going to be a 300 dimensional vector right okay so it's taking a little time to load so let's wait for a while and in the meanwhile let us write some code right let's say say word vectors of let's say apple right i want to see this right and i also want to find out okay the code now you can see for an apple you are get, getting a list this is a list of numbers and this is the vector for apple right so let's say v of apple and let's say v of mango which is equal to word vectors of let's say mango right and if i print v of apple dot shape you can see it it is a list of 300 numbers and if i do v of mango dot shape again it is also a list of 300 numbers right and suppose i want to find out similarity between these two words right okay let us find similarity using cosine similarity so cosine similarity and here i give the first vector which is v of apple the second vector which is v of mango so the cosine similarity function accepts that i should give a 2d list so i use these square brackets right so the shape of these features is 1 comma 300 right so you can see this similarity is 0 0.24 which is uh, okay 
and suppose if I give if I just make it small does it matter yeah so capital apple and small apple are treated different because it is the way the model has been trained right so per, you should use the smaller one right I don't know the capital A could also mean the Apple company right so Apple is a company as well so capital A could mean that company also but suppose uh, in a text both Apple and Apple are used right so if both Apple is there right? if Apple is also there which is a fruit and in the text an apple is also there which is a company right then the fact representation would be a average of these two right so the context of apple would contain both context of both the fruit and the company right so this is one thing which i wanted to say right and if you plot it on a graph right if you visualize where the apple vector is so it would be somewhat closer to the vector of companies like Samsung, Nokia, Microsoft and somewhat closer to Mango, Guava, Pineapple and so on right so it, it would be in the mid of those two right so Apple I should not take I should take some other product right maybe Guava or something right okay let's uh, take it Apple only right okay so <coughs> Uh, this is how you find the distance between two words and if you compute the distance between v of mango and v of mango which are effectively the same vectors you will see the cosine similarity is very high and this value is close to one or exactly one right and if the two words are not related let's say apple and let's say america right or let's say india right and here I should have apple right you can see the cosine similarities now very less right so between two fruits it is going to be high between fruit and a country it is going to be a low because apple and india do not generally appear in the same context right okay so our task is to find the odd one out and what I'm going to do I'm going to define one function So define one function which is let's say odd one out and it is going to accept a list let's say this list is a list of words and we want to find out which word is the odd word right so this function accepts a list of words and returns the odd word okay so how we are going to do this is let's let me show you right let me just uh, tell you what steps we are going to follow so i'm going to compute the vector for every word let's say v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 then i'm going to find out an average vector which which would be an average of v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus v4 by v5 right so this vector is again of the shape 300 right it is again going to have a 300 dimensions then I'm going to find out how close apple is with the average vector how close mango is with the average vector how close juice is with the average vector right so we will find out cosine similarity of every word from the average vector right and the word which has the minimum cosine similar similarity that is the odd word right so that also makes sense right if you, the for which you get the minimum cosine similarity right that word is most different from all other words right which which also intuitively makes sense right so how we are going to do this we are going to generate all the word vectors right so uh, using this object it is an object which maps words with the embeddings so let us generate in the first step generate all word embeddings for the given list okay so let us say all word vectors 
is a list which is going to be word underscore vectors of w for w in words right so i'm using list comprehension to do this and if i print all word vectors if i print length right so it, it would be equal to the number of words in the list right and let me just call this method odd one out and i say give it the input one right you can see there are five word vectors and you can also print them right print all word vectors okay so these are the word vectors you can see right there are five vectors so in in total you have 1500 such numbers so you have 5 cross 300 right okay so we have generated all word vectors now we want to find out what is the average vector so let's say average vector is will be given by it would be an average of all right so i can use np dot mean the numpy mean function and here i give all word vectors and i also need to specify in which axis i want to take the mean right so axis is going to be zero right because zero means across rows we want to take the mean across the rows right so if if you have a array which is of 500 cross 300 right okay so i want to take the mean across all the rows so that we we get what is the average value at each of the index right so you can print average vector dot shape okay numpy is not defined let us import numpy as np yeah you can see the shape is 300 comma right and now what i'm going to do i'm going to iterate over every word and find similarity okay so what what we can say i can say odd one out equals to none In initially we do not know which word is the odd word then i say minimum similarity is let's say one right it is basically a threshold right if, if a word has a more similarity uh, if a word uh, what this is just to track which word has the minimum similarity right so minimum similarity so far so initially the similarity is one and or it can be very high value you can put it infinity or anything right then what i'm going to do i'm going to iterate over all the words for w in words i'm going to find similarity which is will be given by cosine similarity between the words i between the word vectors of uh, word vectors of the word w and the average word vector right okay so i give the wth word the vector of the wth word and the average vector right this is what uh, i am giving or you can give all word vectors of i that is also same and if if you see the similarity is less than the minimum similarity then you are going to update minimum similarity equals to similarity right so it is very similar to how you find minimum of n numbers right and you can say odd one out is equal to w so w is the odd word right and you are going to return odd one out you can see the output when we give this list is party which is fine and if you which is the expected output and you can also pass you can also print the similarity between two words right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to print how the two words are similar right so you can say similarity between word and average vector is and here i give w and similarity so one error similarity is not defined so it is similarity string object is not callable 
a yeah here we should have a percentage yeah you can see between apple and average vector it is 0.78 mango and average vector it is 0.76 juice and average vector is 0.71 and between party and average vector it is going to be 0.36 because the average vector is having more weight due to fruits right because all fruits are similar so their average vector uh, their similarity with the fruits is going to be more and their similarity with the party and the average vector is very less right between orange and average vector is also 0.65 right so we find that word which has least similarity and this comes out to be 0.36 and the word is party right so this is how you can use word to vec to find out the odd word and now let us test our function on few more examples let's say input 2 on input 2 let's say so you can see when you give music dance sleep dancer and food it is able to find out sleep is a odd word because food dancer dance music they all are related to a party right so they all are related but sleep is something which is not fitting in the context right then another word another example is match player football cricket dancer right so the first four items are related to sports but dancer is the odd word so let us try if we get the correct results on this one right yeah so we are getting dancer is the odd word and finally we have india paris russia france and germany right so let us try on these as well odd one out on input four yeah so you got paris is different why because india russia france and germany are countries and paris is the city right so countries appear in the same context capitals appear in a different context so this is how word to vec is able to figure out the task right so i hope you uh, got an idea how word to vec works and this is a, this is a pretty cool application i hope you would like this video and do share it with your friends as well thanks for watching i will come up with uh, more videos soon thanks a lot bye, -bye.